how are you all doing today? This is Vertic Designs here. And now we are going to change the color of an object with masks. I did a part one on this showing you how to do it with layers. If you missed that video, click a video on the screen or a link in the description that will show you how to do it with layers. But in today's video or for this video, I'm going to show you how to do it with masks. The very first thing you want to do is you want to import an image to do so you go to file and open or you just drag it into Photoshop. Once you've done that, you go over to where it says background and you just double click on this lock or just click on it once left click. If it doesn't disappear, let's say it doesn't for you, then you just hold it in, hold the left side of the mouse and drag it into this little bin icon down here. The reason why you'd want to do that is because the lock stops you from actually editing the layer. And that is something we do not want. Now that we've done that, what we want to do is we want to once again, pick a tool. For this example, I'm going to use the quick select tool because it is quicker than other tools. I will show you the reason why you should use the pen tool and the accuracy of the quick select tool. Go to the plus sign and you want to go around the car or the color you want to change. For me it is the red, so I am going to select this. If you go over the top, let's say you've gone a little bit too far like this, you go to the minus one and you put it back down. All right, so now that we've selected the color, we want to actually create the mask. To do that, we go to the adjustment layer. If you don't have the adjustment tab in here, you can get it by going to window and it should be there, adjustments, and it should pop up. You want to click on the one that says hue slash saturation. That took me a while to say. Once you have the mask created, all you do is go to properties here, and now you just change the color of it. So you can see it is changing to a different color. I am going to go with a, let's say a green, this type of green right here. This is a bit, okay, maybe, let's go with a blue. And that is pretty much it. That's how you change the color of an object with masks. It is that easy. Just like I said in the start of the video, Quick select tool is great for quickly selecting areas, but for the accuracy, sometimes it is not quite the best. As you can see, we still have a little bit of the red color from the original color. If I really did wanted to, I could change the color of this here and do a lot better version of it. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful. If you'd like to see part one, click a link in the description or on the screen. Let's see if we can hit 50 likes on this video. I will see you all in my next video. Bye.